So today, my extended review is of something that's brand new. Well, not brand, brand new, but it's been out for a few days. It is Apple Intelligence. So I'm going to open up. This is my iPad running 18.1, iOS 18.1, and watch. Hey, Siri. You'll notice that Siri flashes colors around the sides now. Hey, Siri, open Microsoft Word. You'll also notice that Siri does a much smoother job now with opening applications than it did before. Um, hey Siri, tell me the weather. So it's coming up, it's asking me, can I, should I use Siri and allow it to use my location? And there you can see in my area, the weather's up on top there. Hey Siri, when is daylight savings time? Oh, maybe I have the volume turned off. Let me, oh, I did have the volume turned off. Hey Siri, when is daylight savings time? And you can see it pops right up this year. It's on this Sunday, this past Sunday. So you'll notice that the interface is a lot cleaner now. It's got the colors going around the outside to let you know that Siri's working on something. Um, you can do all the traditional things. Hey Siri, driving directions. You don't get the prompt back and you don't get the little spinning dial down at the bottom anymore, which used to annoy the living daylights out of me. Um, Cause I would always, be too fast, right? I would always be speaking before Siri was ready for me. Hey Siri, open the news. And there you go, see? Oh, look at that, I'm eligible for three months of free advanced news, although I barely use news. Um, it does at least give you an idea of what Siri can do now, which is a lot more powerful than what it was. Um, I'm going to remove this application because I don't use it anymore. But you get the concept here is that you've got actually a lot more functionality within the Siri application, which is part of Apple Intelligence. And then let's go look on the device and you'll see it says Apple Intelligence and Siri now. And when you come, you can toggle Apple Intelligence on or off. So if you're you know, somewhere where you don't want Apple Intelligence interacting with you, you can turn that off. Um, you can allow Siri to be functional when the system is um, on or off. Uh, you can choose the, the type of response. Uh, in this case, it's automatic, which is what I chose. But you can also do a spoken response. Uh, however you want uh, Siri to respond to you, you can set that up. Um, you can also have Siri announce calls. You can have it call hang up, uh, which I like to add call hang up. So I'm going to add call hang up, which lets me say uh, within the app, hey, turn the or shut the call off or do. Um, it's got all sorts of fun things now that it's capable of doing. Uh, and it is the first iteration of Apple Intelligence. Now, let's be realistic. This is only the first iteration. So for someone that uses AI tools heavily, so if you are into ChatGPT and you're using ChatGPT like every day of the week and twice on Sundays, this is going to be a baby step for you. You're going to take one look at this and you're going to go, oh, yeah, okay, this is not what I want in an in a AI toolkit. But remember, the goal of this is not to be an AI toolkit today. It's to make it easier to use the Siri application on your Apple devices. So that's this initial run. There's more coming. Um, I believe in 18.2, you actually 18.2 of iOS, you actually get a lot more than than what is available in 18.1. But that is the introduction to the new Apple Intelligence. Thank you.